Hi, my name's Emily and I'm a Senior Case Manager at Community Corrections. From a young age, I always had a passion for helping people and I always had a interest and I guess a um, fascination with why people commit crime. So I thought I would combine the two together and I went on to do a university degree in Bachelor of Justice and Bachelor of Psychology. I had not heard of Community Corrections. Well, I'd heard of it, but I didn't know what it entailed. I didn't know what case manager was. I thought it was someone who went into prisons, for instance. And it was through coming into this role that I learned, no, we actually supervise people in the community and help reduce their risk of recidivism and harm and keep the community safe. So as case managers, we supervise those who have been released from custody or those who have been sentenced to an order from court. And our primary responsibility is to assess and address their risks assess what their needs are and assess what sort of responsibilities they have. So when we first meet someone, we um, identify what their needs are. So it could be that this person is a drug user and they use because they have unstable accommodation and employment. So we would try link them in with agencies to assist with accommodation and employment, try get them some stability in their life so that they are able to commit to, um, I guess, adopting what we call pro-social norms, so committing to a life without crime. We also conduct electronic monitoring on some offenders, so just to monitor their whereabouts to ensure that they're staying away from what we would call high-risk areas. We also conduct home visits, so generally it's only two persons that go out together, two colleagues, for safety precautions, however sometimes we might have police visit as well, just to try re-engage someone in supervision or just to assess their property and see how they're going. The role of case manager is great if you are someone who has a genuine desire to want to help others and you're a very empathetic and patient person. It's a role that is very demanding. You need to be able to adapt to changes which can happen in an instant and you need to be able to respond to crises and prioritise your day. You have to be willing to work with resistance, so work with offenders who aren't ready to change or don't want to change, they don't see any benefit of it. So it's being able to motivate them in order to recognise that there is a different path that they can take in life.